The order of the retelling of 22 polling stations by the sixth judge bench was finalized and submitted today. Out of the 22, five of them had discrepancies over the number of votes cast as regards forms 34 and 36, these being Lomerimeri Primary School in Tiati constituency, Ntambiro Primary School in Igembe Central constituency, Kabuito Primary School in Igembe Central as well, Mugomoini Primary School in Chuka constituency, and NCC Social Hall in Langata constituency. Africog's lawyer Kathy Kilonzo was critical in her response to the report of the retelling of the 22 polling stations. The report indicated that Forms 34 was missing in 10 constituencies. In response, she asked, If, my lords, there are Form 34s missing, we have to ask yourself, where are these Form 34s? And what is the result of those missing Form 34s? My lords, this election was conducted on 4th of March 2013. That was 25 days ago. The results in polling stations had been compiled by 5th of March 2013. Even if the presiding officers were walking these forms to Nairobi, by now they would have reached. These constituencies referred to by Kathy were Kilifi North Constituency, Zorerani Primary School, which was used as a polling station, Kapenguria Showground as well was used as a polling station, Loima Constituency in Nakatian Water Point polling station, Magarini in Mjanaheri Primary School, Matuga Constituency in Vuga Primary School, Narok West Constituency in Esinoni Primary School, Kuresoi South Constituency in Cherokeet Primary School, Likuyani Constituency in Lumino Primary School, Kabondo Kasipul Constituency in Ongujo Primary School, and Mwingi North Constituency at Irira Market used as a polling station. Senior Counsel George Oraro was also quick to point out that the report showed huge discrepancies regarding Form 36 used. He cited variances reflected by additions and subtractions between Forms 36 and 34. At the end of the day, you will not be able to determine what are the number of registered voters in respect of each of the registers against what was reported to be the total number of voters who voted for presidential elections as re reported by the first respondents. It was, however, true that there were discrepancies in certain areas, according to the report. In Mvita constituency, no aggregate was provided for the votes cast. In Kinango, the registered voters were written by hand. In Isiolo South, the copy of the first form had no inclusion of registered voters, whereas in Mara constituency, the form was not serialized and indicated as Form 36. In Mathioya and Githunguri, there were two Form 36s with total number of votes cast similar in the first case and a different number of votes cast in the second case. In both cases, however, the second form did not indicate the number of registered voters. In in Laikipia West, two Form 36s were found, but there was no way to verify votes cast. Malava constituency had an incomplete figure for registered voters, which was handwritten, while in Mount Elgon, there was no aggregate for registered voters. What came into play for both defense and prosecution was the existence of two Forms 36 in a number of polling stations. This was put into perspective by IEBC lawyer Nani Mungai. We not only provided the first one that had an error from the uh, constituency, but notes indicating what verification was done. So when you have two Form 36s, it is not because there is any mischief. It's because we've been candid and shown you we took our responsibility to verify seriously. His sentiments were echoed by Uhuru's lawyer, Fred Ngatia, and William Ruto's lawyer, Kato Kigen. Indeed, all these Forms 34, my lords, there's nothing mysterious about them. They're in the website of IEBC, all of them. And also acting for one of the political con uh, parties, we were given a soft copy of all the Forms 34. There is no Form 34 which is missing. That category of missing Forms 34 
does not really apply. Every Form 36 that is relevant and authoritative for purposes of determining presidential elections, there was only one Form 36 which was signed by the returning officer, the chairman of the Electoral Commission, the second respondent in this petition. It has been quite a tedious exercise here at the Supreme Court from Monday up until today, Friday, with both defense and prosecution giving in their submissions the best way they know how to. Now it's up to the sixth judge bench to give what could be called a historical ruling for the Republic of Kenya. And that will happen tomorrow. Reporting for KSTV News, I am Melin Miendo.